Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on September 11th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Starting out here looking at the last two days of imageries, 304 angstroms, large plasma filament in the southern hemisphere and as well M-class solar flares, multiple M-class solar flares all earth facing as well active fiery sunspot region earth facing having a look at the last two days incoming a couple sizable sunspot regions look like they will be cresting in large plasma prominence there lifting from the surface swirling around outgoing got the same thing happening here lots of plasma prominences plasma filaments interacting with the multiple sunspot regions on our sun through solar cycle 25 pointing out the most active regions here in the last two days all that earth facing m flare action and there is the most recent there moderate m class solar flare having a look at multi-spectrum coronal hole in the northern hemisphere and the south And no real concerning plasma filaments that we could be watching for a destabilization. It looks like most of them have already destabilized. We've seen multiple coronal mass ejections the last few days. Another light here, 171 angstroms. Amazing dynamics of our sun right now amongst the nine sunspot regions on our sun about seven of them are grouped down there in the bottom right hand corner of our sun having a look at these sunspot regions in motion speed them up a little bit amazing days and times to be alive thank you and grateful to have you aboard current space weather conditions we are under r1 a minor radio blackout impacts expected as well we are under g1 a minor geomagnetic storm impacts as we were expecting and forecasted here with daily events worldwide the solar winds are coming in right now at 375 kilometers per second they were up in over 430 earlier solar x-ray flux as you can see just recently over the last few hours three moderate m-class solar flares so that's about nine m-class solar flares we've seen the past two days solar proton flux coming back into a more likable range and KP index sitting at a KP3. Space Weather Prediction Center has updated their CME models. I've been talking about the CMEs that were detected on LASCO the last few days. Here are the most recent prediction models. So we are expecting our next solar storm coming September 13th. Looks like impact will be early morning around midnight of the 13th or sorry of the 12th and into the 13th here's that backside cme little yellow circle there on the right hand side is earth espa space prediction spiral showing the same thing and there is the most recent earth directed cme expected arrival september 13th and it will be a very strong solar storm, most likely will be coupled with an aurora, aurora borealis, both in the north and in the south. Looks like this is a direct hit. And here's the most recent CME detected from Iswa, and that was in an outgoing position towards Mercury and as well Mars. Lasco 3 showing the last 48 hours of imagery sun diving comet and as well a fireball see me taking off from the south that was from that plasma filament swirling around i showed you earlier on the 304 angstroms that's the last two days and here is the moment of impact this is looking at our magnetosphere our solar winds hitting our planet creating our magnetosphere 
Now this is showing the pressure planes. When you see the red, that means more pressure. So the pressure came on. And then we were whacked a little bit and look at that bow shock. And these are our solar winds right now. Just under 400 kilometers per second, but the pressure is on. Much love everybody and stay safe and healthy out there. And thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. Sizable earthquake here today. 6.3 magnitude earthquake. Papua New Guinea. Lorengao. 6.3. Papua New Guinea. And as well, notable earthquakes here. Luganville, Vanuatu. Couple 5.8 magnitude earthquakes. No tsunamis from these earthquakes. 4.6 earthquake. Kermadec Islands region. That's the deepest. 420 kilometer depth. Notable earthquake here. Pagan region, Northern Mariana Islands, 4.6. And as well, Indonesia here, Portano, 4.6. Pretty rare earthquake here, Pakistan, 5.4 earthquake. Koror, Pakistan, 4.2 earthquake there, Turkey. Interesting earthquakes here, out front of the South Sandwich Islands. So this is east and about 100 to 200 kilometers away from the South Sandwich Islands. South America, Peru, 4.9. Notable earthquake there. Dominican Republic, 4.3. Across the United States, largest being the 3.5 in uh, Nevada, Goldfield, Nevada. USGS is reporting 233 earthquakes the past 24 hours. So that's slightly above average, but notable activity across the Pacific Northwest, of course, all around the California basin. No major swarms to talk about. Lake Estates, Montana, up towards Yellowstone. Then earthquakes here, Mount St. Helen, Rainier, Shasta. Concrete, Washington, and as well northward there, Princeton, Canada, with an explosion being reported. 2.0 magnitude. And again, no major earthquake swarms to report, but lots of activity increasing. Alaska, and as well Hawaii. Now let's have a look at earthquakes here. The last seven days for shakers around the world. Largest being the 6.4 that occurred today, Papua New Guinea. Still not enough pressure released. 66 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. And the Philippines just had an eruption. I'm not sure exactly what volcano yet. But we're looking at some pretty heavy SO2 particulates that are coming from the region. So heads up everybody. Pressure valves are releasing and our planet is changing. Let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by windy.com overlooking North America. Notable eruptions in Mexico at the Popo Paquetito. No major fires burning across the US or Canada. Overlooking South America, Africa. No major plumes or anything out of the ordinary to report. Except for when we're overlooking Indonesia and the Philippines. As you can see that big dark red region. That is where the most recent eruption was. There are about three active volcanoes through the region. But look at that SO2 coming out of the Bonin Islands region as well. Very interesting days. Stay aware and prepare my friends. Big eruption there, Philippines. Now let's get to weather. As we do have quite a situation here developing for China. And as well the Philippines as typhoons are raging westward. And India is actually getting quite a bit of impacts from these systems. But China is set to get the worst here in the long range forecast. You could see another typhoon heading towards you. 
Then overlooking North America, we do have Hurricane Francine that turned into a Category 3 yesterday, grinding its way into the New Orleans and making a landfall before smashing into a high-pressure ridge and being thrown out into the Atlantic by Sunday and Monday. Big system here developing for central United States and the Canadian prairies. And some big snowy systems developing for Alaska and northern BC in the long range. Stay tuned as I will be giving some snowfall totals soon. That's right, halfway through September. Overlooking Africa, Europe, still a grinding low pressure system there, trapped for eastern parts of Europe. Western is dry. Strong. Hurricane here developing in the long range in the central Atlantic and strong system there for Argentina. So stay aware and prepared, my friends. Much love. Hope you enjoyed the show. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.